Hey folks, Technivers here. Today we are upgrading the Tronxy again. This is a Core XY machine and we're going to be putting some belt clips on. These belt clips are amazing. They work really, really well and offer for easy adjusting. So make sure that you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell. Give it a good first layer squish for me and I'll show you exactly how to attach these belt tensioners. First things first, these belt tensioners aren't exactly new. They are a clip called Belt Sleeve on Thingiverse by Greg Ware sometime back in March of 2018. So all credit goes to Greg Ware here. And it is thing number 28323999. So uh, make sure that you grab this. They come in super handy. I've used them on my other CNC machines as well. Big ups to Greg Ware and thanks for the file. Alright, welcome. Here we are. We're taking a look at my Tronxy X5SA Pro. This thing is a beast. I uh, recently pulled it out of mothballs. It's still a little bit dirty, so we're cleaning it up. We're going to make a few modifications today. And this one is going to be some clips that should help us tighten the belts. As you can see, they are, well, let me see one that you can see on camera. They're pretty loose here. And we want them to be a lot tenser than that. So I'm going to show you how these clips work here. It's basically just a little clip with uh, two holes in it and you're going to feed it through the bottom hole and you're going to fold it over on itself to where you want it and you're going to slide it on and lock them together. A really, really good system for doing this. Okay? If you have too much extra cord, you can put it back through the top notch. We're going to do this with all four corners. So I'm going to go ahead and clip these zip ties start putting these on and I will show you how much tighter the tension is. Right now, it is pretty loose. As you can see, I can get my, my finger all the way in there. I shouldn't be able to do that. That's, that's way too loose on both of them. So we're gonna take care of that with these clips. All right, so that's one clip on. It's this bottom belt here. Now you can see it's got a little strum to it. So let's adjust the top as well. And with the second clip on the right side here, we got some nice vibration out of this one. I could get it a little tighter and if I'm going to do that either way, I still want to put these clips on this side here as well, just to make sure it's nice and secure because the system is working really, really well. And I can't wait to test a print. And the coolest part about this is they're really easy to adjust. So if I need to adjust this side, all I have to do is hold the belt in place and slide it off. And then I can either loosen it or tighten it as needed and then slide it back on. So this gives me pretty quick uh, change of tension on the belt if I need to adjust it up or down because the longer you leave tension on these belts the more slack they'll start to gain from stretching slightly. They are uh, uh, steel woven belts so they shouldn't stretch too much but they do have a little bit of give in them. Now that we are done fixing this up let's go ahead and fire up a print and see how it works. It should be a lot less vibrational ringing in this printer now. Now, you may have heard me say in the past I've had some trouble with this machine, and to be honest, their original firmware was kind of jank, so uh, I did have it put away for quite a while during the move. We were busting out all our printers, and I really wanted to be this one to be one of the ones I got going, and the printer just kept ramming the bed into the head. The light on the detector was going off, it just wasn't stopping it. So. Uh, finally, I switched it over to Marlin. I, uh, I'll have a video up on that shortly on exactly how that did as well as the file that I'm using to run this properly. But ever since then and a little adjustment to the E-steps, everything is flowing perfectly. I have not once unleveled my bed or rammed it into the head. The sensor is fine. It's just the firmware that they used to calibrate this machine was not functioning properly. Marlin, however, is amazing and I'm having really good luck with it. So if you'd like to know how to get Marlin on yours, uh, stick around. I'll have a video for that coming out shortly as well. We're going to speed through the printing process so we don't have to watch this whole thing and I'll show you the finished product. And that's going to be it for this video. So stick around for just another minute and we'll see how this comes out. And there we are. It looks great. Actually, I am still dealing with a little bit of stringing as you might be able to see in here. The vibrational ringing is almost completely gone and I've dealt with that adhesion where it was a little that problem with the adhesion was a little too close to the Z offset. Uh, so I'll show you how to do those two things as well. 
but uh, I think this video was a success. Definitely check out these clips, they're amazing, and they will help you get nice, tense belts on your Core XY machine, especially. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.